What's up guys, Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears. Today, I'm breaking down the first team offensive lines play from our game versus the Seattle Seahawks. Let's get right into watching the tape here. I have it slowed down to half speed. Basically, we have some combo blocks here. Larry Borum and Tevin Jenkins are going to double team this guy. Mustafer and Cody Whitehair are going to double team this guy. Braxton's got a one-on-one -on -one here. And then Cole Komet's going to chip this guy and then roll out for the screen. Then we got Khalil Herbert going to come up here and save the day with his block, actually. Let's watch this in slow-mo. Everything playing out good. You see, these guys have their man here. He's stoned. These guys got their man. The two-on-one makes it easy. Braxton actually loses this, but Khalil Herbert saves the day. And we'll keep watching here. Boom. Good job, Khalil the ball out you see the two on one here what happened with those double team blocks Hev stays with his man and Larry Borum rolls out Cody Whitehair stays with his man and allows Sam Mustafer to roll out great job by both Tevin Jenkins and Cody Whitehair here falling off their man after the double team goes away and then great job by Larry Borum coming down here and sealing off the bottom side Overall on that line play, I gave the negative to Braxton Jones. He got beat on his one-by-one, one, and I gave a negative on Sam Mustafer for not having the right awareness on this block in the open field. Cody Whitehair, Tevin Jenkins, and Larry Borum all performed admirably on that first play. All right, the second play goes a little bit differently as we have another two-on-one here with Mustafer and Whitehair. One-on-one -on -one up here, one-on-one, one-on-one. -on -one, one -on -one. The guy who misses the block is right up the middle is Khalil Herbert. Watch this play in slow motion. Good job, Tevin. Good job getting his hands in there. Larry Borm just kind of standing around on this one. Not sure exactly what he's doing, but he doesn't have a guy. Khalil gets beat. Tev does a good job just manning his, just owning that guy up there. Great job on that play by Tevin Jenkins again. Also, let's go back and watch. Watch Braxton Jones up here as well. Gets the chip from the tight end. Good job. Nothing going up there. This next play is our first run play of the drive, and this is where the offensive line really gets into it. See Tevin Jenkins here. He's going to do his job. Tevin's job here is to wall his man off, keep him down. Braxton's job up here, wall his guy off to the top side, allowing Mustafer and Cody White here to push in here and create a hole. And then Cole Komet's also going to come through on the backside, creating quite a hole there. And then, and then Larry Borum's job is to keep his man walled off to the outside as well. Let's watch how this play goes. we go at the snap boom look at this great job here Braxton Jones has his man turned his back to the hole same with Tevin Jenkins here you see him he's getting his man and then look at the push we got from Cody Whitehair Sam Mustafer up the middle and then you got Cole Komet coming in the backside to clean it up Braxton Jones also has his man walled off just in case we want to do a cut back here great job let's watch it continue here Cole Komet kind of runs into the back of Tev, doesn't mess him up. Tev, Tev continues to use great hand placement and technique here. Watch this Khalil Herbert burst through this hole. Look at how Tevin Jenkins, Braxton Jones has his... Even Sam must... Cody Whitehair is about to get... Him. Nice move, easy gain. Our offensive line performs very, very well in run blocking situations. I'm excited to see. Overall, I graded out the offensive line on their entire first series, the nine plays total. And I went over the entire offensive line. Braxton Jones showed me six plus plays, 
two neutral plays and only one play where he really got beat and that was the first play of the game Cody Whitehair looked like our best offensive lineman he had eight plus plays one neutral and zero negative plays Sam Mustfer, I mean let's be honest he kind of struggled he had three plus plays he did look very good on the one run call he had four neutral plays he stuck out with two negative plays Kevin Jenkins had six positive plays, three neutral, and zero negative plays. Both the plays that I initially thought were negative, Kev actually shows great technique and saves the rep and doesn't get beat. Larry Borum had five plus plays, three neutral plays, and one negative play. Overall, I really like the way our offensive line played. I have to be cautiously optimistic about this group. I'm going to further evaluate Tevin Jenkins and Larry Borum as they both went on to play in the next few series. Stay tuned. I'm going to check that out. Hit that like button for me, guys. And until next time, bear down.